What's up guys, Hong here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, this is gonna spark a lot of debate and I can't wait to see the comments. So, BJJ Black Belt versus BJJ, uh, no sorry, BJJ Black Belt versus Judo Black Belt. Who would win? Oh man, oh man. So, for those of you guys who don't know, um, I'm a lifelong martial artist, right? I'm 41 years old. <clears throat> Currently, I'm doing judo. It's been five years. I'm brown belt. I'm still competing. So, uh, of course, now at this point, since I got to brown belt, I'm competing in the master's division, right? Because that's what my coach uh, wants me to go. <clears throat> so I follow his lead because, you know, um, well, for, for many reasons. But anyways, I've done BJJ for about six years. Uh, I had my blue belt in BJJ. Now, six years, blue belt, it's because I changed clubs. So I was at a, what, the first club I was at, I stayed there for three years. And then from there, I got into an argument with my coach and then I left. And then when I went to the other club, well, you know, like they just kept me at blue belt. And, and when I was about to leave, they were gonna give me my purple belt, but you know, I left. And then uh, I'm still friends with my first BJJ coach. We're really um, close, right? And he told me, like, I was about to get my purple belt when I left. So I, I probably should be purple, I guess, you know? So, and, um, so that's my grappling, uh, um, what do you call it? Portfolio, uh, progression. Okay, whatever. Uh, um, I can't figure the word. But I, I've also done wrestling, right? A little bit of wrestling here and there for about a year. Um, and of course, some... Um, uh, what else did I do? I touched on boxing too. I boxed a little bit for, for about a year on and off, you know? Uh, wrestling, same thing, on and off. And uh, I've done, when I was younger as a kid, I did uh, two years of Kung Fu, three years of uh, Taekwondo, and also Muay Thai, like I, I touched on that too, on and off for about a year, right? Um, yeah, so that's it. So <clears throat> I'm still going at it, you know? I'm keeping myself in shape. I still wanna win. I still wanna compete. I'm going after my black belt. Uh, as soon as all this is all over with and the gym's open, the dojos and all that. So I'm going to go back, get my black belt. And then from there, uh, you know, I'm still going to compete. I actually want to go for, I want to get a title, you know, a Canadian title or a uh, world title. So we'll see how that goes. I hope you guys follow me on the, uh, uh, you know, on my, on my journey, okay, to where I want to go. And uh, yeah, that's it. So this is going to be good. Okay, who would win? Well, it's going to depend on a lot of factors, right? <clears throat> but well, what, what I'm going to talk about in this video is, well, here's the thing. It's, it's not black and white. It's going to depend on the athlete and on their, um, on their skill set, their, uh, their level. And, you know, on any particular day, someone can fight better than the other one, even if he's not as skilled for whatever reasons, right? So fighting is that way. I mean... It's not, uh, GSP said this, it's not the best GSP as in George St. Pierre, one of the, the greatest welterweight of all time in the UFC, MMA guy, right? He actually lives right here in Montreal, uh, Quebec. Uh, that's where I'm from. I'm, I'm from Montreal, Quebec, up in Canada, right? So for, or the, for, you, for those of you guys who are listening from the States. Uh, okay, so, and he said, it's not the best fighter that wins. It's the one that fights the best, right? So there's that that you have to take into account. Now, why am I talking about black belts? Well, because, you know, why we're gonna talk about people who just start, right? It's not a good, um, uh, not as good um, reference, so to speak. Okay, so here's the thing. I've seen, okay, black belts, because that means they're already there, they've been training a while, they have experience, they've mastered the basics, you know, they've done competition, yada, 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 right? So let's say two, I've seen, I've seen, let me just gather my thoughts for one second. Okay, let's start with the BJJ guy. I've seen high level, and we're talking high level here. So we're just comparing two black belts, for, right? One from BJJ, one from Judo, both are super high level, right? So I've seen high level BJJ guys destroy high level judokas, right? In competition in a BJJ competition, right? And of course, I mean, even though, even though like 
when you get to that level, like international level of uh, uh, black belt, international judo black belt, and you come from a school that, you know, that does have a, you know, pretty solid ground game. I mean, these guys, they could mop the floor with most BJJ guys. With most of them. Yeah, they can, they can like destroy them. Even though their specialty isn't on the ground, but they do a lot of groundwork because groundwork is um, important and required at, at the highest level, right? Because, you know, sometimes it's about um, holding down, like in judo, you don't have a lot of time on the ground, but if you're actually doing something on the ground after you've thrown the guy or, or whatever, then either you could pin him or go for a submission. So you have to have those tools available to you so that you can strategize too. Because if you're, for example, leading on points and there's about, uh, let's say, a minute left on the clock or, or 30 seconds and you have them down on the ground, then you might want, and you have a couple, you know, you, it's your first fight or second fight, you have a couple of fights coming. Well, strategically, you have to have a ground game so that you can actually either try to finish it or you pin the guy down. So, I mean, it's important to have a good ground game in judo, right? You can't just, uh, you can only get so far without having a, a very good uh, ground game. Because after that, at one point, well, you're going to get manhandled by somebody who does have a really solid ground game. And judo guys are really, really, really strong. So, that being said, high-level judokas, international level, they have ground game. Like, make no mistake about it. Because the first thing I heard when I started uh, doing BJJ, a long time ago was that oh you know like um uh once you once you do bjj you're like a essentially a uh a a, a a a like black belt on the ground so to speak right in terms of technique and all that and for for a while i didn't understand it was just in terms of technique well i kind of did but i i figured yeah you know that means like yeah, i would mop the floor with most judo guys well it depends man because a lot of judo guys, they'll, they'll focus more on the on the uh, on the tachiwaza, on the standing up, on the throwing, and all that. But they won't pay much too too much attention to the ground game. But once you once you you fall on a judo guy who's who who has a very strong who's very who's really high level and has a very strong uh, ground game, understanding of the ground games and all that. I mean, he's gonna like he. I I've got my I got my ass kicked like that, you know. Okay, like uh, underestimating these guys, but at the higher level, right? Uh, in judo, black belts. <clears throat> okay, so that being said, um, but generally speaking, yes, if all you do is judo and you just focus on, you know, the stand-up part of it and all that, of course, you're going to get your, your, your butt kicked by, you know, a blue belt in BJJ, so to speak, right? Because this guy just knows how to move more and has more techniques and he understands more on the ground than you do. But that's just because you haven't fully learned uh, the ground aspect, the newaza of judo. So let me just gather my thoughts again here for a second. <clears throat> okay, so that being said, it's not, like high level judokas, right? They're very high level, black belt, international level. They're no slouch on the ground. They're very, 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 very strong. Physically, super aggressive, top game, super explosive they go for the kill fast and these guys are like how do you say like a ton of bricks man you can't move them man they're so friggin good at you know putting their weight and contracting and just poof, stabilizing because in judo when you throw somebody down and you gotta hold them down it's 20 seconds you gotta hold that that mofo on the ground on his shoulders for 20 seconds while the guy's like ah, trying to scramble out of it before you get the pin before you win right so these guys have that that isometric, isometric strength and overall just strength that and the grips in their hands and their core, their, everything is so strong and so explosive, right? So, mm, yeah, like chances are most high-level uh, judoka players, right? I mean, on the ground, they'll mop most of the guys in BJJ. Now, that being said, okay, I've seen on the other side, and we're going in two extremes here, right? super high level BJJ guy, super athletic, super strong, weight trains, that's all he does, super powerful, super aggressive. He has like all the same attributes of a judoka that you tend to find in a judoka, judoka more than in a BJJ guy, right? Because usually BJJ guys are more like 
Let's flow, let's chill, flow roll, slow, take your time, position, control, because they have time and all that. But at the highest level, okay, when you look at Buchecha, when you look at uh, Galvao, and when you look at uh, Keenan Cornelius, and all these, uh, like I haven't been watching for a while, so I might not know who, who are the top guys now, but these guys are beasts. Like, you look at how they fight, and they fight. And I was watching this with my judo coach, and, and we're, we're observing. Man, these guys, they're like judo guys, but on the ground, right? That's, that's what it is. So, so all the qualities that you take from a judoka, but you put it into, uh, you put it into a, 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 a BJJ guy, that's, you know? And this guy trains, like that's all he does. He does this full time. He's like, you know, just like a, a, a international uh, a judoka competitor. He does this like full time, that's all he does. So if you take a BJJ guy, international level, right? He's like flying all over the place, training and stuff like that, and that's all he does. And he has all the attributes. He's athletic, he's explosive, he's aggressive, he goes for the finish. Oh man, so like those guys, they're something. So th I've seen those guys, right? Armbar a high level judoka, right? In a BJJ competition, like in seconds, well, maybe not seconds, like something like 30 seconds, under a minute. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. And it was, it's because, first of all, it's a BJJ competition. Of course, if you were to take uh, the, the high level BJJ guy on the ground, international level, up against the judoka in a judo competition, well, of course, he would, he would, have, he would have been the guy who, you know, got smashed, okay, in like under a minute, so to speak. But now you're taking the judoka who is practicing BJJ, right? And who already has his basis in Newaza into a BJJ competition. Now he meets up with a guy of his level, but on the ground, right? In terms of athleticism, strength, um, aggressivity, you know, and, and all that, all those attributes, but in a ground guy, and you put him into a ground competition, a BJJ match, man, I saw that guy got on like in boom. It was amazing. It was amazing to see. So, that's my take on it, guys. It's um, It depends on the athlete. And if everything being equal, right? And of course, it depends on who fights the best on that day. But it's not really fair when you think about it, right? Like if we're, if we're, we're talking about in the context of competition, okay, well, what competition are we doing? Are we doing a judo competition? Or are we doing a, a, a what do you call it? A, um, a BJJ competition, right? If we're doing a BJJ competition and you got both guys, you have the super high level um, black belt BJJ guy, right? With all the attributes, you know, like of, of the judo guy and you take the judo guy, the black belt, international level, super strong, super fast, blah, 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 blah. But he's, he's a judo guy. Like he, he was do, he's been doing judo for like over 20, 30 years. And his ground game is very, very, his newaza is very solid, but of course, not as sophisticated as the guy who does, who's been, who, who's, who's been doing maybe 20, 10 years and, or whatever, like uh, 30 years of, of, of BJJ, right? Then of course he's gonna lose, in my opinion, right? Not all the time, I mean, but I'm just saying, chances are you go with the BJJ guy. Now, if you take these two guys here, whoosh, you bring them down to, a judo competition, right? And under the same circumstances, so the BJJ guy here in a judo competition, he's only been doing judo for maybe uh, two, three years and stuff like that. Well, even though he like physically, they have all the same attributes in terms of speed, power, strength, aggressivity, uh, you know, and all that. Well, you, the money, the smart money would be on the judoka because you know the rule sets are different and everyone has their specialty, right? Now that being said, it's important to do both. And, and one of the subscribers, uh, one of the guys in the community, because I've been reading my comments down more often because I have more time, right? And I've been answering them. So if I haven't gotten back to answering your comments, because I, I try to answer all of them, all of them, because it's not like if my YouTube channel is that big. So, you know, and even, it, even when it, well, I wouldn't say when it gets big, but if it gets big, right, through your support of uh, the community and all that, then I'll, I'll find a way to always 
to 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 be responsive and to um, communicate with you guys, right? Like, uh, you know, and and I'll, I'll find. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Can't think of it now, but where there's a will, there's a way. We'll figure something out all together, right? So, what was I saying? Right. So, one of the guys in the community was saying how, well, listen, you know, like. Uh, Judo, stand-up, so you have super advanced throwing, super advanced grip fighting strategies, right? Whereas in BJJ, it's super advanced stuff on the ground, right? So you want to learn both. That's, that's the bottom line. Ideally, ideally, right? So even, and let's say you don't have the chance to do both. You do, uh, you know, it's either BJJ or Judo because they're at different clubs and you don't have that much time. You have to, well, then uh, you have to decide which one uh, you want to learn, right? I have a preference for Judo, but I mean, I started in BJJ and then I transitioned to Judo uh, because I ran out of money <laughs> and my coach recruited me, my Judo coach, right? So that was, that was kind of funny that way. Uh, but I already did six years of BJJ and then uh, and, and I was in relatively good shape and stuff like that and I already know how to fall because funny thing is my first BJJ coach like he taught me the basis even though he never had a real judo teacher but his his coach right was a judo guy so he taught him how to fall so I was taught how to to break fall when, when I when I started BJJ and then of course I learned a couple of entries, a couple of throws, but I mean, uh, you know, nothing compared to to when I started doing ju pure judo. Then I was like, holy shit, I didn't I didn't know nothing, right? But I, I break falling, I actually mastered it when I was in BJJ. So anyways, that helped me when uh, when I transitioned uh, to judo, right? So where was I going with this? Uh, so all that to say that oh right, choices, judo or BJJ. Like if you have these two clubs here, well, you know. I find that ideally what you should do, right, is that you start off, you do, uh, you do judo first for a, for, a couple of, uh, for a couple of months and then you do BJJ. But then it depends, right? Because if you're, if you're a little bit older, like me, and a lot of you guys are older, right, in the community, and a lot of you guys are uh, about my age and a lot, and turns out there's a lot of young people too, like watching this channel, so that, that's great. That's really great. I, I mean, every, it's open to everyone, but you know, I talk to people, uh, when I make these videos, it's more tailored towards, um, you know, guys my age, older, or a little bit younger, because you know, that's who I am. I can only talk about what, uh, what I know, right? And this is me, so, so I'm 41 years old and I'm still grappling, right? But not to say that uh, anybody is excluded, if you do martial arts, you do grappling, hey, this channel's for you, you know? I feel, I hope. Okay, so, back to what I was saying. Let me just get rid of this, this dude here on my you know, messenger Facebook. Okay, so, here's the thing. If you're a younger guy, right, and you're not as busted up, why not? Do judo first, right? And then after that, uh, because I find judo in itself, if you find a good school, I mean, they cover a lot of ground games, stuff like that. Then after that, so you do that for like, let's say, I don't know, a month or two, or even a couple of weeks, then you do, then you, then you do some Brazilian. And then you find which one you enjoy more, and then you do that one. And if you enjoy both of them, right, uh, I feel as, I, I love both of them. I would do both of them if I had time. But, you know, since I'm very, uh, I did ju uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for six years, and then I transitioned to Judo, and Judo is my main focus now. I have, like, very specific goals I want to, to achieve, the black belt, the world title, and stuff like that. So I really got to focus on that. But it's not to say that. I won't dabble. I won't dabble in uh, BJJ once in a while, and it's not to say that I'm not going to go back to BJJ at one point to go get my black belt, right? Okay. So that being said, uh, this video is already at 19 minutes now. So, but if you're older, like 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 me, right? Then you might want to start with BJJ, and it's been a while. You've been out of the game, you know, um, and you're a little bit out of shape. BJJ might be a safer, less risk of injury. You'll still get injured, so you gotta be careful. You gotta watch my videos and, and uh, comment, send me messages and stuff like that, or emails, and then, then we can kind of like evaluate together. Ask the other guys in the community. Like everyone's, and it's, it's, it's great now, guys, because everyone's commenting, uh, and everyone's sharing, everyone's uh, debating, and giving each, uh, supporting each other, helping each other out. Of course, we're never gonna see eye to eye on everything, right? 
But uh, that's okay. That's okay. That's what this community is for. Like, we, we can't see eye to eye on it. Everybody's different. Everyone has different experiences and all that. But um, ideally, I ask for everybody to be uh, civil to each other, more or less. But hey, if we get heated arguments and debates, why not? This channel is here. I'm not, uh, I'm not that sensitive, you know? <laughs> okay, so back to what I was saying. So if you're a little bit older, maybe BJJ first, warm up those that body, those and then you gotta you gotta do some judo at one point just to see, just to experience it and to see what it's all about. Like you'll you'll see what I mean, right? But uh, judo's hard on the body, man. It's very hard on the body. So if you're older, you know BJJ first. If you're younger, maybe judo first, and then uh, ideally judo first, and then and and then you go to, uh, to 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 BJJ, right? Because then you'll have an advantage, man. Like the biggest advantage, man. I find like in um, one of well, biggest advantage, one of the one of the great advantages, okay, of judo when you come up against a, a, a BJJ guy, is that they don't know how to grip. A lot of them don't know how to grip, and and because they don't want to, so they're all crunched down like that. So you just, you know, grab the sleeve, bam, big hand over the back, uh, over the top, crush them down, and they're gonna sit on their ass. But if they sit on their ass, okay, well guess what, you're you have top game right there, and then you can just you know focus on passing the guard and all that, right? So right away, so you don't have that fear, you know? And um, the thing is, if, if uh, I'll make another video on this because I'm not gonna talk for half an hour, you know? I like to make these, keep these in 20 minutes increments, okay? And, uh, and just focus on one subject and then make another video and so on. So, but also like, okay, for example, if you have wrestling technique, you're a BJJ guy, you have wrestling technique. Yeah, but if I'm a judo guy, if I grab your sleeve and you have a gi, we have both gis on, you know? Man, once I once I grab that, once I once I control your sleeve and and I, I have the kumikata, the grips, that pretty much cancels out your wrestling, right there, right. Of course, if we didn't have uh, our geese on, then it would be a different story. But uh, that's the thing, man, because BJJ guys tend not to have those those uh, that kumikata. They don't they don't grip as much. They don't know how to break it. They don't know. Whereas judo guys, man, you know, it's all in the grips, baby. We get there like ha 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 ha. And then the guy's like, oh, I can't do nothing, right? So, hey, that's my take on it, guys. Let me know what you think. Let the debate start. Let the argument start, okay? And then that's going to generate other ideas about other videos. And then I'm going to, you know, and that's what I'm doing now. So I'm answering as much as I can. Uh, and then I'm going to set up a schedule where, like, I can answer all the messages and make my videos and then go about all, you know, everything else that I, that I want to do for this channel and my own training and all that, uh, my own conditioning work. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, man. So what do you guys think? Am I right? Am I wrong? What's your experience as a judoka? What's your experience as a BJJ guy? There's nothing that's, in my opinion, better than another. You know, like uh, one of the one of the one of the guys in the community, like he put a comment. He said, listen, man, you know, like it's uh, it's not it's not there's not one better than the, the other. It's they're different. Right. But they, they, they're they're different, but very similar in a sense. It's like the same uh, it's it's grappling with a with a jacket. One specializes on the ground. The other one um, specializes standing up, but does have a lot of ground game in there. Because you remember, remember you guys have to remember BJJ. Uh, BJJ comes from judo, right? But then it evolved so much, and then so we have the separation now. But it's it's kind of grappling is grappling, man. Who cares? You know. So throwing somebody very important, right? And then after that. Um, well, you know, finishing it off on the ground, very important, right? And um, that's it. So I, I think that we're all just a one big uh, dysfunctional family at this point. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll merge, but I don't think so, man. Both sides is different. You know, you have IGF and then you have, uh, uh, I, what's International Judo Federation, IJF, right? And then you have uh, uh, IBJF, IBBJ, yeah, International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation. So, you know, it's like two different federations, so to speak, right? Um, and that's it, so they're competing for their own space kind of thing, and BJJ, much stronger in marketing for now, and who knows, it might always be that way, but all that to say that it's, it's they're, they're like brothers, so to speak, you know? And brothers who like to argue. All right, guys, thank you very much. Like the video, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it. If you share the video, then it helps me to uh, to grow. And of course, click on the notification bell. 
uh, to, to be noticed when I put up a video. I try to put up videos uh, daily, you know, uh, and we'll see if I can keep that up once this quarantine is over and I have to go back working in the gym and all that, but I'll, I'll really do my best at this point. I upgraded my my, uh, my internet speed, my upload speed, so I could, I could like bullet this fast, you know? And uh, with time, I'm gonna, the video quality and editing will, will, uh, will, will improve, right? But uh, I need time with that. It's like, I don't, I don't have money to pay anybody to do this. I look, man, and woof, man, it's expensive, bro. Like uh, guys to, 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 to edit videos and stuff like that, man. Like people are charging a couple of hundred bucks easily a month, you know? Uh, I can't afford that. So I gotta figure out how to do this, uh, do this, do this shit myself. So, hey, thank you all for the support, uh, for, for watching. It means a lot to me. Uh, this was this is a big part like this is what keeps me going is when you guys comment when you guys like the video we got when you guys watch it and then we grow this community and we we do this thing together right because i'm on my journey and i hope you guys follow along it's going to be fun it's going to be great it's going to be full of ups and downs and injuries and all and then you know my views uh some of you guys watch uh, uh i noticed that a lot of my old videos too right because i've been on youtube now for maybe a year and a half two years but really on and off but now I've, I'm committed, I've decided I'm gonna do this, right? And so, hey, my views change, man, you know? Only a fool doesn't change his mind. And as we move forward, you know, my, uh, the general gist of what I say and what I'm about might change slightly here and there on certain things, you know? So don't be surprised if in an older video, I mean, always look at the dates, right? If the thing is dated like a year ago and I said something that you guys don't agree with, that's okay, because I might have changed my mind too. Uh, the only way to know is really to uh, to keep watching, following, asking questions, and I'll answer them as uh, soon as I can. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let the de let the debate and the argument begin. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace.